Now, you may have heard that we've got some settled weather on the cards, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, I wanted to spread a little bit of festive cheer by offering you our WQ Radar discount. We are offering your first year subscription for £25. That's nearly half price. And you get so many incredible things with WQ Radar. You get near real time rainfall radar, weather observations from around the world, lightning alerts, and archive data. There's really lots of stuff to get stuck into. The perfect gift for any weather nerds in your life. Life. So if you'd like to take advantage of this discount, just head to wqradar.co.uk and use the discount code SANTA. But now let's take a look at the forecast. This is the jet stream and we've currently got it heading to the north of the UK. Some quite strong areas of jet within that as well, but generally steering any areas of low pressure well to the north of the UK. And this is allowing high pressure to build over us. So generally leading to some settled conditions for us, while any areas of low pressure generally track away to the north. So taking a closer look at the forecast, this is for Wednesday, high pressure centered over the continent, ridging in from the south. But we do have this cold front across northwestern areas, which will bring some rain in places, as well as perhaps some breezier conditions in the northwest as well. And as we go through the day, that perhaps sinking a little further southwards into part of southern Scotland, northern England, turning briefly sort of brighter in northern Scotland for a time, but elsewhere generally staying dry as high pressure ridges in. Could have some persistent cloud in some places though, so not necessarily a bright day for places, but it does look dry. The best of any sunshine I think will be across southern Ireland, northeastern parts of Wales, central parts of England. Now looking into Thursday, with that high pressure ridging up from the south and winds generally sort of falling light as we go through the overnight period, there will be the risk of a few mist and fog patches on Thursday morning. And this could these could perhaps be quite slow to clear at this time of year. Um, so the potential for those, maybe a touch of frost in places as well where skies remain clear. But otherwise, with high pressure ridging up from the south, most places will generally have a dry day on Thursday. You can see just a little bit of rain pushing into northwestern areas at times, so perhaps the odd spell of rain, but as I said, generally a dry day as high pressure becomes more dominant across the UK. Now, as we go into Friday and indeed further into the weekend, high pressure really remaining the dominant factor influencing our weather broadly centred across the UK. So many places staying dry through the weekend. Couldn't rule out the odd spot of rain from any thicker areas of cloud, but as I said, most places staying dry. Both Friday and Saturday morning do have the risk of a few mist or fog patches in places and some of them will be slow to clear, as well as the odd touch of frost in a few spots. But generally, a dry settled weekend just with a bit of persistent cloud in some places too. Now taking a look at the spraying forecast it is a good few days if you are a fan of high pressure. If you're after some settled weather, we've got plenty of it. Uh, those green colours indicating ideal spraying conditions, so light winds, dry weather, and you can see a lot of those green colours over the map on the next few days, so plenty of good spraying conditions if you're doing that at the moment. Now, taking a look further ahead into next week, you can see the signal is still dominated by high pressure. These red colours here, well above average pressure at the moment. Um, so continuing on the settled theme of weather as we go into the run up to Christmas, Christmas week here. So high pressure dominated, but looks like round sort of the edge of that high will generally sort of have winds coming in from the east, so perhaps allowing temperatures to fall slightly. And you can see here, looking at the 10 day trend for your maximum and minimum temperatures, you can see both of these falling as we go further ahead in time. This is for Norwich. We're starting off with temperatures sort of slightly above average, going closer to average and then below average as we go further ahead in time. But as you get towards the end of the period, you can see a bit more spread in the possible outcome. So indicating a little bit more uncertainty in the forecast as we go towards the end of that period. And it's all to do with what the setup will be like as we go towards the middle slash end of next week. Generally still expecting to be high pressure very close by, perhaps sort of more centered over parts of southern Scandinavia as we go into the middle part of next week. And it's this area of low pressure here that we want to watch lots of models doing different things with this and that having different outcomes. So some of the models sort of weakening it as it moves northwards, generally sort of not 
not uh, affecting our weather too much with allowing high pressure to stay centered over the UK. But some other models are deepening this and tracking it a little bit closer to the UK, perhaps pushing some rain into Western areas and perhaps bringing some slightly milder air as well. Most of the models though are keeping the high pressure on the more dominant side of things and keeping that feed of sort of easterly, southeasterly winds, meaning things will be on the colder side. Going further ahead then towards the end of December, the new year, the start of January, you can see we've still got the signal of high pressure. Perhaps it's moved sort of slightly further north, shifting slightly further north into week three, but still dominating many places, still keeping many places drier than average. And that continues to keep the same theme of the temperatures as well, continuing those easterly wind direction and continuing those below average temperatures indicated by those blue colours for many areas across Europe. Into week four, still the same kind of pattern really, except that high has moved just that bit further northwards. So continues to bring in winds from the east or perhaps the northeast. So the potential for some cold temperatures continues as we go into the first week of January. As you can see the extent of those blue colours on the map there. And just looking at the expected sort of rainfall anomaly as well, you can see still many places looking drier than average as high pressure continues to dominate. But just notice along the sort of east coast of the UK, you can see those white colours there indicating that rainfall might be a bit closer to normal in these areas perhaps even slightly above average and with those cold temperatures that brings the potential for a few snow showers in places so this week is one to watch do keep an eye on the forecast there's still a lot of uncertainty at this stage though so over the next few days we've got any rain sort of in the northwest will generally clear as high pressure builds from the south and with that high pressure bringing the sort of lighter winds we will have the risk of some mist or fog patches which could be quite persistent in places and although we have high pressure building it doesn't generally mean lots of sunshine i think we could still see quite a lot of cloud around as well and as we said, generally turning colder over the next sort of 10 days or so. And that does bring the risk of some frosty mornings in places, particularly as we go further ahead in time. Generally staying on this sort of trend, generally rather settled with high pressure dominating conditions, winds coming in from the sort of easterly direction. So meaning things will be cold with below average temperatures as we go into the new year. Now, to finally end with just a little bit of fun, we'll take a look at the Christmas 2021 outlook. So the chance of temperatures, the percentage chance of the mean temperatures being above average or below average, depending on what chart you're looking at. So looking at the chance of above average temperatures, we're generally on the lower end of the scale. So a lower chance of temperatures being two and a half degrees above above average but looking over to the next chart you can see a lot of those darker colors there so a greater chance of temperatures being sort of uh, two and a half degrees below average so at the moment we're looking for as you may have guessed from watching the rest of this video below average temperatures we'll just have to keep an eye on any precipitation coming in as to whether it's going to be a white Christmas Thanks so much for watching our latest WeatherQuest farming forecast. As always, if you've got any feedback, do get in touch with us on social media and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas.